Hi, and welcome to our channel, where we explore some top bucket list destinations that you can visit. Today, we're going to be exploring Rome. Rome is the capital city of Italy, and it's known for its rich history, art, and culture. Here are a few things to know about Rome. Rome was founded in 753 BC, and it's one of the oldest cities in Europe. It was the center of the Roman Empire, and many ancient ruins and landmarks can still be found in the city today. Some of the most famous landmarks in Rome include the Colosseum, the Pantheon, the Trevi Fountain, and the Roman Forum. Rome is home to many museums and galleries, including the Vatican Museums, which house some of the most famous works of art in the world. Rome is the home of the Catholic Church, and it's home to many churches and religious sites, including the Vatican City, which is the smallest country in the world. Rome is known for its delicious cuisine, which includes dishes like carbonara, cassio e pepe, and gelato. Rome is generally a safe city, but it is always a good idea to be mindful of your surroundings and take precautions to protect yourself and your belongings. Keep an eye on your valuables and avoid walking alone at night in unfamiliar areas. Be mindful of pickpockets. Rome is a large city and you will likely be doing a lot of walking. Wear comfortable shoes to make your tour more enjoyable. Bring water and snacks. There are food and drink vendors, but you may want to bring your own water and snacks to avoid having to pay higher prices. Rome can get very hot, especially during the summer months. Make sure to wear sunscreen, a hat, and bring plenty of water to stay hydrated. Here are the top 10 things to do in the city. Visit the Colosseum. This ancient amphitheater is one of the most iconic landmarks in Rome, and it's a must-see for any visitor. To avoid long lines, it's a good idea to purchase tickets online before your visit. You can also book a guided tour, which will give you access to parts of the Colosseum that are not open to the general public. A guided tour can be a great way to learn more about the history of the Colosseum and get a deeper understanding of the site. The Colosseum gets very crowded, especially during the peak tourist season. To avoid long lines and crowds, try to arrive as early as possible. See the Pantheon. This ancient temple is one of the best-preserved ancient buildings in Rome, and it's a great place to learn about Roman architecture and history. You can purchase tickets online to avoid long lines at the entrance. The Pantheon gets very crowded, especially during the peak tourist season. To avoid long lines and crowds, try to arrive as early as possible. The Pantheon is a place of worship, and visitors are expected to respect the silence inside the building. Avoid talking loudly or taking phone calls while inside. Throw a coin in the Trevi Fountain. This famous fountain is a popular tourist attraction, and it's said that if you throw a coin into the fountain, you'll return to Rome someday. The Trevi Fountain is a popular spot for making wishes, but please do not climb on the fountain or throw coins in a disrespectful manner. Also, please do not sit on the fountain or use it as a place to swim. The Trevi Fountain is a popular spot for pickpockets, so be sure to keep an eye on your belongings and keep your valuables close to you. Explore the Roman Forum. This ancient plaza was the center of Roman life, and it's home to many ruins and landmarks. To avoid long lines, it's a good idea to purchase tickets online before your visit. You can also book a guided tour, which will give you access to parts of the Roman Forum that are not open to the general public. The Roman Forum gets very crowded, especially during the peak tourist season. To avoid long lines and crowds, try to arrive as early as possible. The Roman Forum is a place of historical and cultural significance, so it is important to dress respectfully. Visit the Vatican Museums. These museums are home to some of the most famous works of art in the world, including Michelangelo's Sistine Chapel. A guided tour can be a great way to learn more about the art and history of the Vatican Museums and get a deeper understanding of the site. The Vatican Museums get very crowded, especially during the peak tourist season. To avoid long lines and crowds, try to arrive as early as possible. The Vatican Museums are a place of cultural and historical significance, so it is important to avoid wearing revealing clothing or clothing with offensive graphics or messages. Take a stroll through the Borghese Gardens. These beautiful gardens are a great place to relax and enjoy some peace and quiet in the city. The Borghese Gardens can get very crowded, especially during the peak tourist season. To avoid crowds, try to arrive as early as possible. The Borghese Gardens are a public space, but it is important to respect the plants, animals, and other visitors. Avoid littering, making loud noises, or disturbing the wildlife. If you want to see more of the gardens in a short amount of time, you can rent a bike or Segway from one of the vendors in the park. 
Just be sure to follow all traffic rules and safety guidelines. Try some authentic Italian food. Rome is known for its delicious cuisine, so make sure to try some local specialties like carbonara, cassio e pepe, and gelato. Tourist areas are often filled with restaurants that cater to tourists, rather than serving authentic local cuisine. To find the best Italian food, try looking for restaurants in residential neighborhoods or areas that are less touristy. Many restaurants in tourist areas will have menus and staff that speak multiple languages to cater to tourists. If you want to find an authentic Italian restaurant, look for one where the staff primarily speaks Italian. Local residents are the best source for finding good, authentic Italian food. Don't be afraid to ask a shopkeeper or passerby for their favorite restaurant recommendations. Try some traditional dishes. Some traditional Italian dishes to try include pasta carbonara, cassio e pepe, and amatriciana. These dishes are often served in more authentic Italian restaurants and are not as well known to tourists. While Rome is known for its food, other regions of Italy are also known for their culinary delights. If you have the opportunity, consider taking a day trip to a nearby town or region to try some authentic Italian food. Visit the Castello Sant'Angelo. This castle is a great place to learn about the history of Rome, and it offers stunning views of the city. To avoid long lines, it's a good idea to purchase tickets online before your visit. You can also book a guided tour, which will give you access to parts of the castle that are not open to the general public. A guided tour can be a great way to learn more about the history of the Castello Sant'Angelo and get a deeper understanding of the site. You can also ask your tour guide for recommendations on other things to do in Rome. The Castello Sant'Angelo gets very crowded, especially during the peak tourist season. To avoid long lines and crowds, try to arrive as early as possible. See the Spanish steps. These iconic steps are a popular tourist destination, and they're a great place to sit and people watch. The Spanish steps are one of the most popular tourist attractions in Rome, and they can get very crowded, especially during peak hours. To avoid the crowds, try to visit the steps early in the morning or later in the evening. The Spanish steps are a popular spot for sitting and relaxing, but please do not climb on the steps or use them as a place to swim. Also, be mindful of other visitors and do not block the steps or sit in a way that makes it difficult for others to pass. Take a tour of the city on a hop-on hop-off bus. Rome is a city with a rich history, and this is a great way to learn about the city and see some of the highlights. Rome is a large city, and you will likely be doing a lot of walking when you get off the bus at various stops. Wear comfortable shoes to make your tour more enjoyable. One of the benefits of a hop-on hop-off tour is that you can get off at any of the stops and explore the area on foot. Take advantage of this feature and get off the bus at any stops that interest you. Most hop-on hop-off tours include audio commentary in multiple languages. Be sure to listen to the commentary, as it will give you valuable information about the sights you are seeing. While the hop-on hop-off tour will take you to many of the top attractions in Rome, it is not a comprehensive tour of the city. Use the tour as a starting point and do additional research to find other sites and activities that interest you. We hope you enjoy your time in Rome and get to experience all of these amazing activities. So there you have it, everything you need to know before you go to Rome. Whether you're looking to explore the great city, experience local culture and history, or just relax and enjoy the beauty of the region, there's something for everyone in Rome. So, pack your bags and get ready for an unforgettable adventure. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more travel tips and recommendations.